RNAV procedures offer some big advantages over an ILS procedure. One of the biggest, I would say, is that that course guidance is rock solid. You don't have any of those localizer or glide slope errors. But there is one big advantage that you get when you're flying to a runway with an ILS installation. And that is an ILS requires a full setup of lighting systems. That's an approach lighting system and runway lights. And when you look at a LPV, you'll find some of them go to runways that are just simply lit by runway lights without any approach lighting system and sometimes no runway end identifier lights. Now they do take the lighting system into consideration when they're building out those visibility minimums for the procedure. But you will find some LPV procedures that get you down to those 200 and a half minimums, but really don't have any lighting system to lead you in, and they may be difficult to land in in low weather. 